Hello friends, so today we're gonna discuss the problem D from the latest code forces round 686 problem name number into sequence so as you can like if you know this problem you can directly go to the solution but I'll tell you in simple terms you are given some integer uh, like n greater than equal to 1 and what you have to do here is you have to find out a sequence of integers from a1 till ak and then in that sequence what you'll do you will find out k integers so that every a of i should be greater than 1 it should not be equal to 1 and the multiplication of those numbers should be equal to n so this line will somehow give you a hint that we have to find out the factors of n because if you do a multiplication of the factors of n then it will give you two like it will give you equal to n okay and then you have to find out the sequence but a of i should be divisible by i so the ith element should be divisible by the, like the previous element and you have to find out a sequence like this and you have to maximize the total number of length of this sequence you have to make so the total number of like this sequence length should be maximized so it is proven that there is always some answer existing so you have to just output the the total maximum length you can make and uh, like you have to make a uh, like the sequence itself so as you can see for 360 this is 2 to 90 and the other elements are also so so what you can observe from this problem is you can first like stop this video and like watch the or like try to solve this problem on your own but i'll tell you in the simple terms what you can do So because the first thing you which, which like hit my mind is because we have to do a multiplication of all those numbers you have to somehow find out the factors of all those numbers. So like let's assume that if you take 25 the factors is 5 into 5 or the factors is like or if I find out the factors of 25 it's 5, 25 and 1 but 1 I should not take because we have to find out all the factors greater than 1 okay so these are the factors of 25 okay now the next thing here is how should i like divide these numbers so the total multiplication of those numbers is 25 so if i take 5 into 25 then the answer is obviously greater but if i do 5 into 5 then it's fine okay so if i like the output for this number is 5 into 5 or 5 5 which is fine and as you can see the next number is divisible by this okay how can I ensure that the next number is divisible by this? I can easily ensure that if so because an if we are finding out the factors of a number, we are always finding out the prime factors. So if I finding out the factors using the standard way, how I find out factors, then it's better to find out the prime factors. But if I am finding out the prime factors, we are not guaranteeing that the i plus one element is dividing by i element, a of i element because they are prime so the next thing which come to my mind is okay if these are prime factors just take out the prime factor which has the maximum frequency and that's the whole logic for this problem we have to find out the prime factors of every number and then just find out the prime factor which has the maximum frequency and that can be used to make the whole uh, like the sequence so i'll take them to the example part what you can see just take 360 and then find out the prime factors of 360. So let's assume that I find out the prime factors. How can I find out prime factors? Just take the start going from left to right or like from i equal to 2. Take the first number and keep on dividing this number with 2. So it become 180. Then it become 90. Then it become 45. Then the next number is if you divide it by 3 then it become 15 then 3 it become like 5 and then 5 it become 1 so the prime factors of this is 2 to the power of 2 into 3 to the power of 2 into 5 to the power of 1 now how can I ensure that the next number is divisible by the previous number just take out this 2 2 2 if I write this as a sequence then every next number is divisible by the previous number cool but the total multiplication of this whole sequence is not 360 so what you can do because i have taken out these three numbers the rest part we can just multiply in the last element so what we are doing just 
take out the last remaining part of this uh, prime factors so prime factorization of this number just take out the element which has the next least frequencies and multiply in the last element so it will become like 2 2 and if you multiply this part it will become 90 and because this also consists of 2 it will be a factor of a, like a of i plus 1 is also a factor of a of i so you can divide it by that number and thus as you can see this will form a, like the longest chain in which the next number is a product or like a factor of the previous number and uh, like divisible by the previous number and then like and a multiplication of all of these numbers is equal to 360 so I hope you get the intuition how to solve this problem uh, and then the, if you understand this logic part then the code it becomes very simple I'll take it to the code part now so take the input of n every like the n is greater than or like up to 10 to bar 10 but uh, because finding out prime factors is we are doing it in sort of login so not login but like n login you can assume so uh, then like it will come down to the range or you will not get daily so how you are finding out primes prime factors uh, for finding out prime factors you have to find out the frequency and the prime factor itself so we'll make a like vector for storing out the frequency and the prime factor itself so move from 2 till like the root under root of n uh, under root of n so the maximum number is 10 to bar 10 so under root of n is 10 to bar 5 so you can easily do this in o of n time and then what we are doing here is for every i if that i is what we'll do we'll keep on dividing n by i such that if the n is a multiple of i we we'll keep on dividing it such that we'll get the prime factors so we'll get the prime factors and also we'll increment the count and after we'll keep on dividing it n by i such that it will uh, if it has a factor and then in, if in the end we just came out of this for loop or this while loop and then if the count is greater than zero there are like we have find out some factors then we'll push back in v v is storing out the count so we'll like push back the count and i so what we are pushing in v is the prime factors or prime factorization in which i'm pushing out the frequency that 2 divides 360 three times so i'm pushing out the frequency which is 3 and the factor which is 2 and in the end maybe that we are finding out the prime factorization of 70 so if we do a prime factorization using this technique then no factor will be there for 17 and thus n will remain to be 17 in the end also and thus we have to also ensure that in the end the the prime factor should also be in this in this vector so what we're going to do uh, if n is greater than 1 that the number is not perfectly divisible by this method then we have will like insert in v will push back the like because the number is not divisible by that any number the frequency of that number in the end should be equal to 1 because it's a prime factor so 1 and n then we'll sort it out according to the frequency because we have to find out the maximum frequency uh, we'll just find out the maximum frequency and then what we'll have to do here is uh, the maximum length is the maximum frequency of the number or the factor which is occurred the most which I've told you we have to find out the factor which occurs the most and that will give you the maximum length of k so we'll make this vector of size equal to the frequency of the maximum occurring prime number so the maximum occurring prime number is the first number in the sorted list which is v of 0 uh, this is the first will tell you the frequency so we'll make a answer vector which will store out the frequency uh, which will store out the number equal to the frequency so if the if the first number occurs five times so you will insert in answer five times the max like the factor which occurs because that factor will give you the maximum length of k and then uh, then for all the rest factors we'll take out all the rest factors and multiply it to the last number of this sequence so for the for i equal to one so because we have taken the factor i equal to zero we'll start from i equal to one over all the factors multiply all the factors to the last number uh, how many times like all the factors uh, in the last element and then the answer is just the total length of the k equal to the total length is the maximum number of frequency of the prime factor and the answer is just the sequence itself i hope you understand the logic part and the code itself if you still have any doubts you can ping me on the telegram channel or on the 
like you can comment down in the comment box and i'll see you in the next one till then keep coding bye